Hello, I'm Pat O'Hare, Chief Market Analyst for Briefing.com. Today is Wednesday, August 6th. The S&P 500 eked out a slight gain on Wednesday. Still, stock market bulls are pleased with the end result considering the market was able to climb out of negative territory and that the gain comes after the previous session's rally of nearly 3%. A strong showing by large cap technology helped offset negative news out of the financial sector. Crude prices dropped for the third consecutive session which also helped bring buyers to the table. The S&P 500 settled with a gain of 0.3% after being down as much as 0.7%. Six of the ten economic sectors advanced. The Nasdaq Composite handily outperformed with a gain of 1.2%, partially due to better than expected earnings from network and communications giant Cisco. With regard to crude oil, prices fell 0.7% to 118.37 per barrel after traders digested the government's weekly energy inventory data that painted a picture of mixed demand. Crude stockpiles unexpectedly rose, although gasoline inventory levels dropped by a large amount. After some volatile action, oil prices dropped from a gain of 1.1%, which coincided with the stock market's recovery from its session low. Crude prices are down 5.4% this week. The technology sector was the catalyst behind the market's recovery, ending the day with a gain of 1.3%. Cisco reported second quarter earnings that modestly topped expectations on the top and bottom line. The company issued revenue guidance for the next two quarters that was slightly below consensus, but reiterated its long-term growth rate guidance of 12% to 17%. Microsoft also provided leadership with shares rising 3% after a UBS analyst said Microsoft would buy back as much as $20 billion in shares, according to Bloomberg.com. Strikingly, the energy sector, up 1.9%, posted the largest advance this session, despite the drop in crude prices. The sector benefited from a rebound trade and better than expected earnings from Devon Energy. The financial sector, down 1%, settled well above its session low when it was down 2.4%, but still acted as a drag on the broader market. Freddie Mac was the main selling catalyst after reporting a loss of $821 million, or $1.63 per share. The mortgage financing giant increased its provision for credit losses to $2.5 billion from $1.2 billion in the first quarter due to increases in delinquency rates and foreclosures. The firm is cutting its quarterly dividend to $0.05 cents or less from $0.25. Cents. Larger peer Fannie Mae fell in conjunction with Freddie Mac. Meanwhile, Morgan Stanley froze the home equity lines of credit for thousands of its customers, according to Bloomberg.com, citing sources. Most of the customers had homes that lost values, according to the report. The telecom sector, down 1.4%, posted the largest decline. Shares of Sprint, Nextel, and Quest fell after both companies reported a drop in subscribers. In other earnings news, AMBAC, Blackstone, Marsh & McLennan, and NASDAQ OMX received a boost in response to their respective quarterly results. Dean Foods, Priceline.com, Time Warner, Transocean, and Whole Foods Markets posted a loss following their respective earnings reports. I'm Pat O'Hare for Briefing.com. Thanks for listening and have a good evening.